Hey guys, it's Ashley, your Scrapping Nerd, and I'm back today with a layout for Scrap Lift Crafter Noon, and this is a weekly hop on Sundays where a bunch of my crafty peeps and I get together and we scrapbook an amazing layout, and today we are scrapbooking our fearless leader, Tara, here, and it's her birthday week, so happy birthday, Tara, and so what I loved about her layout was the really large cut file. I just thought that that was perfect, and I had this cut file from last year's 31 days of cut files that I hadn't used yet. So it was perfect to get that cut file used up and then to um, get this road trip pictures of my mom and I used up. And so I pulled in um, some Echo Park chipboard and sticker sheet and ephemera from their telling our story and then there's also the Our Story Matters chipboard pieces that I pulled in. And then I had the uh, paper pad that I showed you, and it's Travel Log from Craft Smith, but it's a uh, Michael's paper pad. Like they usually have the $5 paper pads. And I told myself I wasn't going to buy any more paper pads because I had taken my paper pads apart. Um, a couple years ago so I would use the papers and then for some reason I just needed this paper pad and so I love it but that's where all the papers came from and so I wanted to map my layout and I pulled in that light blue kind of gra um, ledger paper and I liked this paper for my bottom paper because I liked the swirly around the edge but it was an airplane and um I'm not scrapbooking any pictures that have to do with an airplane so I will be covering up the world part and the airplane part but I just really liked the kind of swirly things on the side and so here is the cup file and I'm like I said I'm going to cover up that little airplane and I pulled in some distress um ink in aged mahogany which is one of my favorite favorite colors in the line and I'm using my scrap of sketch stencil here with the arrows and I just think that it looks kind of like tire tracks when they're all together and so I wanted to put that behind my cup file and also kind of sticking out to the right side because since I need to put my uh, cup file all the way to the left not only uh, like Tara had in her layout, but also to cover up that airplane that's up in the corner, I felt like the right side of the layout was going to be kind of uh, empty. And so here I am, I just got the the arrows lined up with the cup file and I'm inking through it. And I'm only using the first, like the four in the middle of the stencil. And so I masked off the other arrows so I wouldn't get any residual ink kind of going into that uh, portion of the stencil and I just used some washi tape to do so but I I just when you pull the stencil off and and there it is you're like oh that's so pretty and I like I said it's one of my favorite my favorite colors and the left side I thought needed just kind of the tail end of the arrows and so I'll put that down to kind of be on the same uh plain as the other ones so I'll try to match it up the best that I can and I even put some along the bottom you'll see the bottom row I kind of connect all the way through because you'll you can see it through the cut file but I really like how this turned out and I liked adding this color because it is close to the photo or not photos the um, ephemera and the stickers and so it kind of pulled all of that together but since it is a paper pad I don't have embellishments that go with it and so it was nice to be able to mix these Echo Park embellishments in with um, a paper pad that I already had and so I had got these uh, embellishments and stickers and chipboard in my creative scrapbook kit and they have paper also but I liked the travel theme to go with my cup file here and also um, to go with my photos and so you can see here I'm just trying to kind of connect that bottom row so that you'll see that through the cut file and so I really like how that turned out and I'm gonna kind of decide where I want to put my photos to make sure I can cover up that world in the bottom right 
with the road trip. And like I said, these are photos of my mom and I. We were in Scottsdale. We went on our road trip to uh, the Junk and the Trunk Market, which we go to every year. And uh, downtown Scottsdale had the little uh, statue my mom is sitting next to. And then also this like bronze pig that we took a picture with. So they're just some fun little photos that I thought would go good with this cut file. And in the middle of the, for the O, is one of the directional signs. And I wanted to make that part pop from the cut file. So I took my Distress Mica Stain in Winter Frost. And I'm just painting that little uh, directional star that's in the, the O of the cut file. And I'm going to back the cut file, but I'm not going to make you guys watch me do that. I just wanted to show you how I got that center part um painted and all I did was kind of just stop the paint right at the beginning of the O so that there's no paint around the the O part so it matches the rest and of all those papers that I showed in the beginning I pulled I and I cut the pieces for uh each of the letters and so that it kind of has a the road trip uh different items and then the I in the cut file was a um traffic light and I didn't I decided I didn't like that so I just cut the edges off and I didn't use the um, little circles that come with the cut file to so it doesn't look like a traffic light it just as an eye and I actually used the camera lens uh from one of the papers to kind of fill the the eye in the road trip sign so I really like how that turned out and so I am going to map my photos and because the cut file has that thick white border on it, I didn't color it or anything. I wanted to add some other white and so I will double map my photos. I'll have the white uh, mat next to the photo and then I used one of the directional signs in that blue color for um, the, back mat, the back mat of the photo. And so I really like how that turned out and I think that this fills up the page really nicely and um, now I'm just gonna pull in some ephemera from the the um, telling our story from Echo Park packs that I pulled in and this is just a frame that I wanted to put on each of the corners of the pictures and you can see under on the right side you can see part of the world still and it's because I'm gonna put a little sign on that one to at the bottom of the photo because I didn't want that photo all the way in the corner and I thought I could just put this little uh, ephemera tag here and it covers up that world and then you can't see the airplane except for a little bit so I'm using that heart by that R over there it just covers up the last little bit of the airplane and I like how that turned out and then I could still have the border of the little swirlies on it and I I like that and here I'm just because my frame had some blunt cut in since I wanted to use both pieces I just covered up the edges with that as well but um Make sure that you check out all of the wonderful ladies in the description below and see how they are scrap lifting Tara this week as well as check out Tara. She does amazing layouts. I just love her layouts and her channel. Make sure you go hang out over there and watch some uh, videos and wish her a happy birthday. And um, thank you to everyone that's liked and subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit those buttons. I would love to have you. But that is the layout. So again, happy birthday, Tara, and everyone have a great day. Bye.